Good evening and thanks for joining us. This is your forecast for, what am I doing? <laughs> Good evening and thanks for joining us this evening. Well, what could get more 2020 than two possible hurricanes reaching the northern Gulf Coast at the same time? Well, that is a possibility right now heading into early next week. Right now we've got Tropical Depression 14 and it's just a few miles to the east of Nicaragua and Central America, but it has shown some recent signs of organization, some possible development. In fact, it's just on the verge of becoming a tropical storm and therefore it would be our next name storm which would be Laura as it makes its way up towards the west northwest now heading west northwest at 14 and our winds are sustained now at 35 miles per hour with the latest advisory you can see here again we've got a bunch of thunderstorm activity but the center of the storm still sits quite a few miles to the north northwest again what you're seeing here is a little bit displaced from this center also winds sustained at 35 heading west northwest now at about 22 miles per hour it's going around a very large ridge so it's going to be moving pretty swiftly until most likely just above Hispaniola getting very close to Bahamas that's where it should start to slow down and we'll start to see some organization I think and that's really where it's going to start to strengthen and intensify so take a look at this and this is what's kind of scary and somewhat alarming at the same time as you notice the overall path tropical depression 14 becoming Lara by tomorrow then as you notice back across open waters going across the Yucatan Peninsula could reach a category one before making landfall then it weakens a little bit going across some mountainous terrain but then it moves back into the bath waters of the Gulf of Mexico where overall wind shear is a little bit less than what is expected, most likely moving into early next week. So there is room for intensification, category one, and then heading right towards the Houston area. But as you notice, portions of Louisiana all the way to the Baton Rouge area now currently underneath that cone where we could see some winds up to about 75 miles per hour. And if we get this current track, again, you got to always remember that the northeastern quadrant is where those those stronger winds are going to sit. The heavier rainfall is going to be, and if we get some of that outer banding here, we could be seeing a lot of heavy rainfall throughout much of southern Louisiana. Here's the other track, and as you notice, Tropical Depression 13. They've got tropical storm watches for Puerto Rico and the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles, and then it makes its way towards the Bahamas, gradually strengthening. Winds up to about 65 by Monday. We're talking a Category 1 hurricane. We're talking just south of Miami, between there and Key West, and then it starts to make it slide up towards Pensacola, possibly as a category one. And notice the cone here, the mouth of the Mississippi River also lying underneath the cone. So all of Louisiana kind of clipped by this system. And you got to remember, uncertainty for the track and intensity is still very high. A lot can change in the coming days, and that's why we have to monitor these systems very closely. What I will tell you is we got the chance for some rain tomorrow. But over the weekend, it's going to be a nice dry period. This is when you need to clean your gutters, secure that outdoor furniture, clean those ditches in front of your house just in case we do get some heavy rainfall out there. Trim those tree, uh, tree burnt limbs that are necessary that look a little bit weak and damaged. Now, as you notice, tropical models both kind of agree here, as you see, right towards maybe Mobile, Alabama, maybe towards Pensacola, Florida, and all models kind of agree right towards right now for the time being just around Galveston Bay. But again, that could shift. We do have some coming back towards Louisiana as those upper level steering winds should start to drive towards the northeast. So here is the European model. And again, not really developing tropical depression 13 until a little bit later down the road. However, we got maybe a tropical storm. And as you see here, kind of driving itself up through Texas. That's the latest advisory. And then as the latest run here, more rain versus a system across the northern Gulf Coast. And again, that is just the European model. I do want to show you the American model, which is our GFS model. And both, again, you can see kind of coming together a little bit closer. Our biggest concern is probably going to be the threat for flash flooding as we could be seeing multiple inches of rain if we get stuck underneath some heavy downpours. I also want to point out we've got another vigorous wave coming off the coast of Africa that also has 
a pretty decent chance for development in the coming days. Probably by the time it gets into the central Atlantic, it'll be named and that again will be Nana as we move forward. So here you go. Rain estimates out there and I just want to show you pretty heavy over the next couple days and obviously rain totals could climb depending on the current track and intensity and where those rain bands really begin to set up. So again, Keep an eye if you live anywhere along the Gulf Coast or really anywhere if you know anybody from Florida all the way to Texas, be on high alert in the coming days because again, tropical rain bands, a lot of deep moisture. We can see easily two, maybe three inches of rain per hour and that again will cause our rivers to swell. And as you see here, we're moving into the peak of hurricane season. We're not too far from it. Again, that's in the second week of September. And then it's again, high point really lasts until early October. And you can see how active it currently is now in the Atlantic. And our next name storm looks to be Tropical Depression 14 will become Laura. Tropical Depression 13 will become Marco. And then after that, the new wave probably off the coast of Africa will become Nana as we make our way into the week. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure you download our app, follow us on social media, and just stay alert, stay weather aware. We're going to continue to have more updates, obviously, as the systems get a little bit closer. And just remember, again, this is not a definite thing quite yet. We may not have the situation that's currently laid out there for us with the current tracks, but it's a possibility, and that's why we need to stay ahead of the game. Thanks for watching.